So, I received my package. Finally. Finally, my mic is repaired, hopefully. And uh, now, let's see. So this is for me, it has some personal information. But the total price was... 147 including shipping so yeah but and uh, including tax so there it is oh oh yen fall fill out I shipped it like this, so, uh, well, it looks the same, no surprise there. But uh, let's see what it does against the cheap ass Panasonic thing. And let's check uh, how my ears did. Uh, and with the combination of the Panasonic, and let's see how the measurement looked on the Panasonic and how it looks on the Isimcon. Both without calibration. Uh, I will receive a new calibration file for this mic, for the Isimcon, because they uh, changed the electronics inside and they also changed the capsule out. So actually I only have the body still. <laughs> because uh, I took a little peek inside uh, in here when it was broken. And when I put this down uh, back, back together, it's like uh, you can turn it on. Um, I can turn it on. I kind of screwed up the cable inside, so it had to be replaced. So it wasn't even that expensive. It, it became a little bit more expensive after I uh, took a look. Here, it looks like crap. <laughs> it's all exploded. The normal terminal for the battery broke off because it was Chinese shit. And uh, apparently I didn't thought it would be necessary to make the electronics look good. But anyhow, it works. Uh, let's see what... This is the Panasonic capsule. Let's see how it works. Okay. Exciting. Now let's swap it up for a uh, proper microphone, I hope. Not use calibration both. Let's uh, enable phantom power. Let's see if the level is kind of the same. I have to change the input first. Uh, output focus right, input focus right. Okay. It's about right, I think. I don't know. It's maybe a bit loud. Let's go. Puss, you're mowing. Ha! There you go. There you go. That's why these capsules, at least my capsule, sucks ours. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit louder to have a better comparison. And I mean the input, not the output. That stays the same, because otherwise we introduce distortion from the woofer and such. Wow. 
Boo is stop. Stop it. So actually, it needs to be louder even. It's quite loud. I think that's kind of in the middle. So red is isimcon, green is a uh, both don't use calibration file at this moment. Green is a Panasonic capsule, and especially down low, you can see it goes completely wrong. It's not correct. But, you can also see by ear you can do quite a lot. There's still a hump in the top end, uh, which I know I knew it might be there, because on axis it will produce this. Moving it slightly off axis uh, will reduce this. Uh, you can clearly see a room node, big time, and the suck out it creates uh, at twice the frequency, which is uh, kind of normal. So this is normally, if it wasn't for the room, this would be uh, like more flattened out. This wouldn't be this insane, and this dip wouldn't be insane as well. Not as insane as we see right now. Uh, even when I change the mic, I probably change. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm, oh, most important thing. Yeah, distortion and distortion which one shall I choose I'm not sure so here we got some distortion that is beyond the noise level here it says one and a half percent distortion well that's great but actually it's only 0 0.17 And also like mid-range for instance, 1k, 0 0.275 and here it says 0 0.8. So looking for distortion with a Panasonic capsule is a no-go. It looks really awesome, but uh, yeah, it isn't. Here you got some details. I can clearly see where, uh, you know, some problems are. Might not even be a problem, but I mean... Yeah, it's not it's not insane. This is insane, by the way. Here's a peak of one percent, which is quite a lot at 440. And we could hunt this down. What is it? Is it the tweeter doing too much work? Quite easy to see. Just uh, disable the woofer. See if it still has this distortion. And we know it's in the tweeter. But uh, yeah. I'll uh, turn the speaker a little bit more off axis. So it's, there's the mic. Since uh, I think you can have the speakers not towed in as much as they are right now. And you will get a quite balanced sound. So I turned it a little bit. I, don't know how much, how many degrees, but so yeah, it drops off a little bit. It also creates a kind of a dip here. Not sure what that is. Might be uh, the fact that the the thinner bevel. Uh, so if you look at the speaker, the, the thinner bevel, or where the bevel is not as wide, is turned in, in more into your face, which creates a kind of a, uh, like a, here, a problem. So, might even actually have to um, swap the speakers around, that would be maybe better even. Well, uh, anyhow. Conclusion is, Isimcom 
<laughs> is better than a Panasonic capsule, but we already knew that actually. And I could test the same thing with the Umic versus this one, and it's the same story. Umic noise level insane, uh, uncalibrated looks like the Panasonic because it probably is the Panasonic. So, and I'm not sure if this is the Panasonic as well, might be, but then at least they used a, a nice preamp uh, and got rid of a lot of problems. Uh, I'm still waiting for my calibration file. So, uh, the last time I had a calibration file, it was only like 1, 1.2 dB over the entire length, 20 Hertz to 20K. So, it will change some stuff, but it's not like insane compared to um, I've used the UMIC it had like minus 7 or 8 dB at some spots so yeah uh, and especially the low end is do this this one is doing it correct so yeah because I told so many times there is a lot of low end and if you look at the Panasonic measurement there's nothing but it is there. So I'm glad it's back. So I can uh, finally measure stuff again. Uh, oh, and I'm also pretty um, glad that by ear and the use of the completely wrong microphone, uh, you can still create a kind of balanced, balanced sound. But it's harder for the top end because I don't hear above 16K, I guess. So. This hump here doesn't bother me that much because I probably don't hear it. Or it might even feel feels nice for me because uh, I don't hear it as well. And now I hear it maybe like a, well, like a medium elder person. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> huh? So anyhow, that's it. It's not an interesting video, but... Uh, I'm glad I got my mic back. See ya. Oh, I might save this as well, actually. Oh no, I... Ah, fuck it.